thanks so much for spending your Tuesday evening with us. We're so excited for you to hear this program. Uh, and it's been an honor and a huge inspiration to collaborate with all the wonderful artists you're going to hear tonight. Um, in the spring and in the summer, my dear friend and colleague, Vera Parkin, um, from the Community Music School, had emailed me and said that she found some wonderful Joe Venuti and Eddie Self arrangements in her massive library. And we started chatting about when we could do that. And um, we had an opportunity to perform these in October. And during that time, she got in touch with Aaron Schreiber, the assistant concertmaster of St. Louis Symphony. And we all collaborated on a program in early October at the Yost Lines that had an outdoor concert series. And we were looking for other opportunities to do the music again. And I thought, why not at Webster? And so I immediately reached out to um, some of the Webster jazz students who inspire me regularly. I've had a chance to collaborate with them in the past. So I'm so excited tonight you're going to hear Blake Nickens, Luke Saylor, Matt Lush, and graduate David Michelson. Um, on the first half of the program, um, we're going to be opening with the famous St. Louis Blues. And actually this is a premiere of an arrangement by my good friend Jeremy Cohen. Um, after that, we're going to follow by uh, playing a couple classical works, actually three classical works, which were inspired by jazz. Um, there are a lot of blues works written, and we're going to play um, a wonderful blues by William Grant Still that maybe you've never heard. Um, and then we're going to highlight the work of Joe Venuti, Eddie Self, and Stefan Grappelli in the first half. So we really hope you enjoy the program tonight. Thanks again for being with us, and uh, have a great time.
Welcome back. Hope you're enjoying this evening as much as we are. Um, the second half, you're going to hear more collaborations uh, with everyone. Um, we're going to open with a couple cute tunes by uh, Russ Morgan and Carl Lamagna. Um, following that, you're going to hear some other classical works that were inspired by jazz. And we're going to highlight the works of some other great jazz violinists in this half. Uh, specifically, Paul Nero and Sven Asmussen. Um, I'm guessing that maybe you haven't heard of them as much, they're not as big household names, but I think you'll really enjoy uh, the works by them. The one tune that we're doing that was inspired by Sven Asmussen is the one piece I'm playing on viola tonight. Don't get around much anymore, recorded in 1963 with the composer Duke Ellington on his record Jazz Violin Sessions. Please check it out. Um, also, Aaron Schreiber and I are going to play four short duos. We have two duos by Bugs Bauer, uh, which were written in 1949, some bebop duos, and two duets by very dear friends of mine. Um, Helmut Lipsky and Jeremy Cohen uh, have been two of my greatest mentors throughout my career, especially in non-classical string playing. Um, they helped me start Class International Music Festival, and they've been with me on that project since the beginning in 2016. So I'm excited for you to hear music by them. Uh, they inspire me all the time. And then we're going to also um, play the works that were inspired and written by two other jazz violinists, um, Steph Smith. Um, it's hard to say if I have a favorite jazz violinist, but I just love the bluesy, gritty style of Steph Smith. And we're going to play his tune, Blue Violin, tonight. And then finally, the program is going to end with Chick Corea's famous Armando's Rumba, recorded with the French jazz violinist Jean-Luc Ponty in 1976. Thanks again for being here, and uh, have a great night and a very happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you.